Recently, the OpenAI team announced custom GPTs, where you can build your own GPT that performs a specific task. The interesting part is that we can add custom and fresh knowledge to it, not only through uploading a PDF file, but also by connecting it to the internet. In this video, we will see how to connect your custom GPT to the internet, specifically to Google. We will build an SEO helper tool that can analyze top ranking results and useful information from Google SERP and return with advice for our next blog post. We need two things for this. First, a subscription to ChatGPT Plus to be able to create the custom GPT itself and to connect to the internet or Google for this specific example, we are going to use API from SERP API. You can register for free at serpapi.com. Let's start by going to chat.openai.com dashboard. Click on the explore button. Click the create a GPT button. It will redirect us to the GPT builder and it will ask us some information about the GPT we are going to build. First, what it does. Then the GPT's name. And as well as a profile picture. The GPT is smart enough to give us a recommendation for both the name and profile picture, although we can adjust it later. I think it's nice that we can just use their suggestion since one of the hardest thing in development is naming things, let alone choosing a profile picture. After some basic information, it will ask more detail. I will write a step-by-step -step instruction. I think it's more easy for the GPT to understand rather than answer their question one at a time. So for this sample, I will write, it will analyze Google SERP for the user. User will provide the keyword. Analyze Google SERP via external API. It returns with advice to suggest user what to cover on their page. So it's clear what's the input and what's the output is. Once it has enough information, the GPT will ask us to try the program in the playground. It's up to you if you want to try it now, but I know it's not ready yet. So I'll answer not yet in this case, because I know I need to give more instruction. Here is my follow-up instruction. So I want to give as many detail as possible so it can perform exactly what I need him to do. So you don't need to worry if you think there is something wrong or there is something you need to clarify. It's very natural. It's just like talking to our teammate or our colleague. We can always uh, verify, correct, or adding things for this program. I think I want to emphasize one more thing for this GPT. What exactly the input from the user? Because sometimes it will confuse whether it's a question or it is the task itself that the GPT need to perform. So I write in detail what the input looks like. All right, I believe we already gave enough information to our GPT. Now we can move to the configure tab to do more advanced stuff. In this section, you can adjust the name, description, instruction, but through a user input rather than a chat interface. It also has a conversation starter. It's useful for the user to initialize the conversation. You can add uh, files. You can choose the capabilities. Since I want to rely only on the SERP API API, I will uncheck all the capabilities for the web browsing as well as the image generation. And this button is the key to connect the GPT to the external action or external API, which is the actions button. The giant text area that you see here is for the open API schema. A little about the open API schema. It's sort of like a documentation for the API. It could be in JSON or YAML format. It includes the endpoint, the path, the parameter and so on. So all things related to the API we are going to use. In order to structure the open API schema, we have to refer to the API we are going to use. In this case, is SERP API. Since we are going to scrape the Google search, we are going with the Google search API. You can take a look at one of the code implementation, for example, for the curl. You can build the schema based on this. You can use any open API tools to generate the open API schema for you. Or if you are lazy like me, I will go to the chat GPT asking, please build the open API schema based 
on this curl so you can paste the curl or any code integration that you have on your api documentation and let chat gpt thing and return the schema for you you could specifically ask for yaml or json let's say i want it in json please so as you might have guessed the chat gpt is smart enough for that but for this particular sample i already wrote a blog post titled connect custom gpt to the internet i will share the link in the description box below and here you can just uh, copy paste the open api schema of course you can play with the parameters you can add or remove based on your needs and i also share here how i implement the api key on the schema because what's returned from the open ai is not uh, exactly 100 percent working so i have to adjust it a little bit again a reminder you can copy paste from the link i will share in the description back to our gpt builder now i'll paste the code for the open api schema and don't forget to adjust your api key with your actual serp api api key you can go and test this function by clicking this test button since we will access external api we will say allow or always allow you can verify the HTTP endpoint that it hits and here it just give me a random keyword since chat GPT can think for itself I don't really like the output it gives me so I want to fine-tune or adjust the instruction to be more explicit now I want to add the output with a list like this uh, showing the top ranking showing the people also ask question related search title ideas on the research now you can save or update the gpt to follow the newest instruction now let's try with the keyword read a book and as you can see this is exactly what i was going for i wanted to show the top ranking results people also ask questions so we can use these references to build our next blog post and still give us the seo advice based on the research above as well as uh, title ideas for us to play with so that's it everyone i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to comment and share your thoughts in the comment box below if you have any ideas what we can build next by connecting custom GPT with various search engine. Just let me know. See you in the next video. Bye.